This house is the Lord's and every room in it. We who live here are called children of God. As it is written in 1 John 3 1. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. Therefore the world does not know us, because it did not know Him. As it says in 1 John 1 5 God is light and in Him is no darkness at all. And everything exposed by the light becomes visible. Because it says in Ephesians 5 13 But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light, for whatever makes manifest is light. Now in the name and authority of our King, Jesus, to whom we have given our allegiance, and whose Spirit lives inside us, I command all darkness to be exposed and immediately leave this room and this house and never to return. As it is written in 1 Corinthians 3.16 Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? And in Luke 10.19 Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. And I ask our Heavenly Father to command His angel concerning us to guard this house and encamp around it. As He promised in Psalm 91 1-11, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, six nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look, and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. And as it's recorded in Psalm 34 7, the angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him, and delivers them. And may any darkness be like chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them away. May their path be dark and slippery with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. May any and all darkness be as it is written in Psalm 35 5 6. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. Now, because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, as it is written in Hebrews 13:8. We will stand on Proverbs 3:24 that says Psalm 4:8. When we lie down, we will not be afraid. Yes, we will lie down and our sleep will be sweet. We will both lie down in peace and sleep or you alone, O Lord, makes us dwell in safety. And let it be so. In Jesus' name, Amen.